Hi, my name is Angelica and I'm going to show you how to configure alarms and calculations in FlexAugur. FlexAugur is configuration-based DAX software for data logging, automation, and monitoring test execution. So we're going to use alarms and calculations to apply inline analysis to our data so that way we can understand the conditions of our system. So let's take a look at a few examples. The first thing that we're going to do is to configure an alarm for the uh, chamber light sensor. This is where we left off in the last video. In this case, I want an alarm to go off if the lid is closed or if there's a lack of light. Um, in a real world scenario, you might use this for the uh, chamber door or maybe to monitor other environmental conditions such as temperature or humidity of your chamber. Okay, for the alarm, we have a couple of different options. We can choose to monitor if our signal falls below, rises above, or enters into and out of a range. Uh, and so I'm going to check to monitor if the light falls below a certain value, indicating that the lid would be closed. So I'm going to enable my uh, critical alarm here uh, to be 40 lumens, and it set a hysteresis for 10. So this is going to help ensure that we don't intentionally uh, trigger this alarm if our signal is a little laggy. So you can see as I place my hand over the light sensor, we can see how we enter into and out of that alarm range. Let's see what this would actually look like if we were running the test. When I choose to run, as we get started here, um, you'll notice that when I cover the light sensor, it's actually going to give me a little bit of a notification or a toast that um, will tell me what my condition is of my alarm as well as how long my alarm is active. And so as soon as I remove my hand, that alarm is cleared, uh, but I can always check that in the alarm history to see previous alarms that uh, have occurred, and I can also see any current alarms that are then triggered from that point on. All right, let's stop our tests. The next thing that we're going to do is to configure a calculation to understand when we've exceeded a temperature value of our chamber. Um, but I have a lot of thermocouples. I have a couple of options for my calculations. I can do standard math, filtering, mean, or RMS. Uh, but instead of configuring a calculation for every single temperature channel, I'm actually going to use a custom plugin that was built in LabVIEW that's going to give me the maximum temperature value across all of my th uh, temperature channels. And so if you want more information on this functionality, you can go to ni.com and search for FlexLogger extensibility. So we're going to add a plugin that's called MinMax. And I'm going to rename it to Max Temp. And we're going to configure the plugin to be calculation type maximum. And I'm going to select all of my temperature channels. The next thing that we're going to do is add a Boolean formula. In a later video, we're going to automate when our fan turns on based on two conditions. One is that the lid is open and, or, or light is coming into our system. And the other is going to be that this temperature, this max temp, exceeds a certain value. So I'm going to use a Boolean formula to check that both of those values are true. So I'm going to add a Boolean formula as a calculation. And I'm going to call this fan enable. And I'm going to check that the max temp is greater than 27 and that the chamber light sensor is greater than 80 lumens. The last thing that I want to show you is the system resource monitor. So I'm going to add the system resource monitor here. This gives you a indication of the health of your PC or your test system. So it'll show you the CPU load, the available space that you have, as well as your memory. Uh, this is particularly useful for long-term tests. So you can do something like set an alarm to ensure that you don't run out of memory. So I've showed how you can configure alarms and calculations in FlexLogger.